I'm super excited about today's Dealer Insider. We have Aaron Williamson, the National Director of Marketing for hgreg.com and one of our 2021 recipients for Women at the Wheel for Auto Success. Welcome, Aaron. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to be here. So Aaron and I have quite a few things in common, I believe, you know, as far as, you know, being a in charge of, you know, a lot of things at, you know, at a business and you have two young boys and a husband and just the work, you know, t- work, home, time management on all of that. You know, how do you do it? And how did you get into this industry? Tell us all about yourself. I started back in 1999. So I'm dating myself right now. Um, I started working at the auto auction cutting checks as a temp. I knew forever that automotive was all I wanted to do. And, you know, that long ago, people would look at you and be like, are you sure that's what you want to do? Are you positive you want to work in auto? My answer was always yes. Why not? Why shouldn't I be here, right? So started in 99, cutting checks at the auto auction, worked my way up to being a full-time employee in the marketing department, called dealers all day long. And uh, now here I am, you know, fast forward and, you know, I would not change any of it. I wouldn't change any of it. And the balance between being a mom and working full time, I think for everybody, they have to figure out what works for them. One of the, one of the cool mottos that I read from hgreg.com was that you tell your customers that, is, that it's not just a place to buy cars. It is a place you can, a customer can go and enjoy buying a car, you know, with our industry. And sometimes we get a bad rep on, you know, just customer service and, you know, the meet and greet with, with the customer. How do you bypass that? And how do you build your reputation as a place where people want to come and buy a car? Right. So you think about it. I, I personally didn't enjoy going and buying a car either. And I'm sure you'd have the same experience along with everybody else. Right. For sure. So, When you pull up into one of our stores, I can guarantee you when you walk through that door, it's not going to be like anything you've ever witnessed before. There's music. We decorate the interior with our branding and our colors. There's pictures. There's gaming tables. And everyone is laughing. Everyone is smiling. Everyone is having fun. And that exudes the passion that we have, the caring that we have for our customers, right? So you walk in the door. And it's a fun experience. It really is. It really is. And it's not work, like I said before, right? So when we're having fun, the customer's having fun. And then before you know it, they have a new car. That's awesome. And they're happy. It probably works for your service department too, right? Same way. Same way. Yeah. Nobody wants to sit, you know, for three hours getting an oil change and, you know, not have much to do, but to have a fun atmosphere really does make a difference. So, yeah, and you put the, you put the client in mind, you know, we'll, yeah. we'll pick up their vehicle, we'll drop off their vehicle for them. You always have the customer's wants and needs before, you know, our wants and needs. So you've probably had a good experience with customer retention and just providing a lot of those services. Absolutely. So, you know, you've been in the industry for 20 years. What, 20 years ago was a male dominated industry. It's, it's really not now. How do you see these changes? What do you, you know, what did you see then? What did you see now? And, you know, I mean, I know with my experience and I've been in the industry about the same time, you know, I just see changes for the better all around. Yeah. There's been a vast amount of changes since I entered the automotive industry, a vast amount of changes. Um, Women are everywhere. We're being accepted and we're being welcomed. You know, they, they gave us a seat at the table and, and we're taking them up on it. And that to me is, it's motivation. It's motivation to be the best marketing director that I can be. It's motivation to do my job to the best of my ability and give my 100%. And I think it's motivation for all women to follow their dreams, follow their passion and, you know, you know, it's just, it's a wonderful thing to walk into a dealership and see that there's other women there and in the service department and see that there's other women there and they've been welcomed and we're doing what we love and we're doing our job and we're welcome. 
That's awesome. What did you guys do during the pandemic to encourage your team and to keep the dealership top of mind to your customers? Um, We do what we do as marketers, right? We pause, we take a breath, we regroup and we pivot and shift focus basically. So like I said before, putting the customer first, listening to what they want and what they need and how they're going to be comfortable. That is the main key ingredient to good marketing. You you think about yourself, yes, okay, what would I like? But that's not necessarily what everybody else would like. So you have to be able to put yourself in their shoes and have those calls and communicate with them. So as a team, we all sat down via Zoom, (laughs) like like we're doing right (laughs) now, right? And um, we all just stopped for a minute and we just took a deep breath and we said, okay, this is, this is what we're here for. This is what we're doing now. And they, some of the things that we did do, like all online shopping, right? We've been crying for this or wanting this for years. So some of the hand was forced, but it was a good thing. And we were able to pivot and shift focus. And then when things started opening back up, let the customers know that, you know, we're having the six foot rule. We're all wearing masks. We're all nervous to an extent as much as you are, but we're being safe. We're being clean. We're cleaning the dealership regularly. You know, we're cleaning the cars and you're going to be okay to come inside and purchase your car. And if you're not okay, then we'll help you along the way with the process of purchasing it online. See, I think that's great. There's so many things that we learned from 2020 that we've adapted for 2021 and on. And, you know, the online shopping process and just humans in general, we live in such a fast pace, like we want it now type of, of world. And to be able to make that car buying process where it used to take us all day to go in there. I mean, now you can do it on, you make, you make adjustments for the customer and their lifestyle. Absolutely. Absolutely. (laughs) Um, How's inventory looking at your dealerships? Across the board, we seem to be okay. You know, inventory is light, but it's not to an extent where we don't have the vehicle that you're looking for, right? So I think maybe you see, and, and this, is, this is kind of a difficult question, right? Because people are used to pulling into a dealership and seeing like 20 of the same make model. So maybe we don't have 20 of them, but we do have five of them or six of them and they are coming in. So it's, it's kind of just adapting and adjusting. And I think with that, the consumer now is really doing their research and and figuring out exactly what they want Mm -hmm. and exactly what they need in a vehicle and being able to have that, to offer it to them. It's a benefit. It's a plus, right? That's awesome. That's awesome. What trends are you seeing in 2021 that are most interesting to you? This is a tough one. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's a it tough is. question. But it's kind of fun too, because there's a lot of things going on. A lot so of things. So much. So much has changed. Think like we just said over the past year and a half, so much has changed, right? Um, honestly, I feel like we're listening to the consumer more than we have been. We're really, really listening to them more. And I see that trend, not just for us, because I feel like that's been like my focal point as automotive, but across the board in other aspects, we're listening to the consumer. We have the new privacy laws. We have the cookies. We have all of that. So it's, it's really diving in and making sure that you plant that seed and you communicate and you grow the relationship. And I'm loving the shift of focusing on a relationship and an ongoing relationship. Like you said, we're, we're pausing, we're slowing down. And that's a trend that I feel, you know, is happening in 2021. And I'm very excited for, very, very excited for it's more relationships. It's more grassroots. It's bringing people back together. Yes. And we need that. We do. Um, So EV is such a a big buzz right now. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, there's dealers that are confused. There's dealers that are not sure what to do. Like, what are your thoughts on, on the whole EV evolution? 
we shift and, and pivot <laughs> to, to not say the same thing again, um, it's just being able to supply that demand. It doesn't matter about me and my thoughts and what what I feel about it. And if I would, you know, purchase EV and, and you know, um, there are consumers that that is a focal point for them. And we, we realize that. And we make that available for the consumers. And it's just one of those things where it's the world is changing. It is. It is. And I think, yeah, be adapting and pivoting is, is key to staying on top. It so, is. I really, really appreciate your time, Erin, today. Thank you for the insight. Thank you for, for chatting and, and, you know, giving some, uh, some nuggets for our, for our audience. We really appreciate it. And, you know, we'd hope to have you on soon. Um, again, maybe down the line. That'll be great. Absolutely. I'd love to. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Erin. Have a good day. Thank you. You too.